Hey friends, welcome and welcome back to the Broken Budget. Here on my channel, we are focusing on fixing my broken budget so I can be debt free and live the life I deserve. Today's video is going to be a budget with me. Of course, we will be budgeting my second paycheck of January. Yes. Oh, I haven't even written all my bills and things out yet. Let me do that really quick and I'll come right back. Okay, so this is for paycheck. I believe it's 121 22. And of course, we'll be budgeting $1,600. No extra income this time, guys. All right, so um, I don't write the dates that any of my bills are due because I've already paid everything a month in advance. But if you want me to write the dates, I will. Also, real quick intro, just in case this is your first time here. I am in my 30s, I'm single, I have no kids, and I just really have a lot of consumer debt that I wanna get rid of. I have a lot of high interest rate credit cards, and so I'm attempting the debt avalanche method to get rid of this as soon as possible. So, rent gets 663. My electric bill, which is Duke, I give $42. My internet is 50, my cell phone is 50. Fun fact, <laughs> my cell phone bill is only going to be $50 this week, but I have friends coming to town and I wanted to go out and I just kind of pulled the money from there and used it this week. So that's that on that. Also, how many of you guys watch Kaneko on the Budget Mom, like watch her YouTube videos? because the last one was about high interest credit cards and she even called like a great predatory and i was like i feel you because like the interest the interest rate is ridiculous and like they allowed me to sign up this was two loans but i paid one off and they allowed me to just get them back to back like that and go and check that video out i would actually have it linked in the description box if you haven't seen it but the couple had upgrade loans and some credit ones they had two credit ones just like me and i was like you know i feel better that i'm not alone with this spending habit that i have but also it's sad because like these people are profiting off of like my spending habits and I can't, I can't, I can't keep giving these people my money. Like I work too hard for it and okay, I'm rambling. So, um, Mission Lane will get 19, Credit One will get 36, Credit Two gets 52, PayPal gets 50, Ulta gets 19. Team Sephora gets 21, Capital One gets 23, Bank of America gets 18, y'all. Klarna gets 183. I purchased something else using Klarna and I, it felt good in the moment. I'm an emotional spender. It, it could have been worse, but I'm just like, girl, if you get rid of this, you will have money to put in your sinking funds. Like, it's really that simple. Pull it together, girl. But we're working on it. I'm a work in progress. So, all right, let's add this up really quick. subtract 1600 from that i have a whopping 203 dollars to play with this could almost be 400 if i just stopped with the darn paying fours 
Okay, so we have 203 left here. I have to get groceries. I think I'm gonna have to stop shopping at Publix because I spend so much money on, on groceries for just me and it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, groceries, let's just go ahead and say eating out. I'm actually tempted to put more money in eating out versus groceries and just seeing which one works better for me at this point. But we'll see. Um, what else do I need? Gas. We'll do health. Beauty. Household. And spending. Okay. So, let's see. Um... Let's do, let's do 60 in groceries and let's do, uh, 60 in eating out. <laughs> this is for two weeks and that's what like really gets to me. Like I'm good week one because I spent all of my money week one. Let's only do 20 in gas because I work from home. Health, I need, I need some like collagen. I need a discount is what I need. Ugh, okay. I really need to do 30 in health. Let's, let's, uh, let's hold off on beauty this week. I already have my nails done, so I won't need that for a while, Jesus. Household, let's just do five. You know what, let's just put five in beauty. And then spending, let's do 10. <sighs> How much is that? All right, so that's 170. which leaves me with 30. a whopping $33, yay. So I can do, I really need to like build an emergency fund, honestly. So I'm gonna do 20 in there and then savings. I'll do 13 and pray that that will work. This is depressing. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, anywho, let's go over to my denomination. this out. Okay, y'all, I almost forgot subscriptions in Klarna. So the first thing I wanna do is um, subtract the 183 that I will be using to pay my paying fours automatically out of my account when I get paid. So we will be actually, the total we'll actually take from the bank is 1417.
Oh my God, finally. I always struggle with this part. Like, I don't, I don't even know. My priority goal is dead. Y'all, I am so exhausted from doing this, but here's my cash denomination breakdown. Six 100s, which will give me 600. 750s is 350. 1520s is 300. 1010s is 100. 75s is 35. And 32 ones is $32, which gives me 1417. So, that is it you guys um the next video you will be seeing from me i am super well not the next one but of course the next video will be our cash stuffing and then after that it'll be my first unstuffing video so excited so yeah thank you guys for hanging out with me today and watching me struggle through my budgets i will continue to do so because it is so broken we gotta fix it. Make sure you have subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload from your girl. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also just comment down below and introduce yourself if you decide to join the crew. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.